here, one of the most exciting players in Notre Dame history. Please welcome Rocket Ismael. I love it, I love it, I love it. What's happening? Your enthusiasm never wanes. Where does that come from? Well, I, I've, uh, one thing that's really cool is that when I come to this environment, back to my roots, uh, people always show me love. And, and showing me love and, and, and feeding me with kindness and, and things of that nature and just cool memories, it just energizes me. And so when I'm here, it's just like that, what you give me is, is what I give you. It's like I reflect that. So that's, that's essentially what it is. We're going to energize the crowd now with some highlights oh, here. Oh, this is back, my favorite oh my God, game back in the day when of I could, all time. When I Notre Dame catch. and Miami. Oh, my goodness. 1988. Look at this. Ooh, USC. Wow, ancient film. Look at that. Look how big the shoulder pads are. Man, I had to intimidate people because I was only 166 pounds, so we had to add extra Fiesta armor. Bowl or then the national championship game. You know, I, I had the honor of being with your head coach. Oh, okay, I got to shut up. Wow, look at Bo this. Bo said kick to rocket, not once, but twice, and he got burned both this. times. Wow, wow. This is so cool. Ooh, the U. Wow, you're fast. They came in the South Bend. I think you're still that fast. <laughs> in my mind. All right, now, you've got to get over to travel at 430, so I want to ask you a question. I was with your head coach. Right. And it, Lou Holtz is such a tremendous guy. I mean, he even came over. I mean, I got to the alma mater with him. I almost teared up at that. Yeah. But he said, anything I can do for you, Jack. And I know it's not just people that he's worked with. Uh, you've had some tough times, and he is still a rock for you today. Coach Holtz is, is an amazing man, and one of the most important things that he instills is the ability to understand how important fundamentals are. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that he always would share with us was how it's not important to be a success as it is more important to be significant. And his definition of significant is an individual who's not trying to make themselves successful, but that can help actually make someone else successful. And so when I think about whatever I may have be, been going through or what I, have, what I go through or, or the trials and tribulations that come, the ability to overcome and to draw on the experiences that he brought. And he always emphasized love, which is something that my grandmother always emphasized, and the power of love to enable you to overcome the, 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 the trials of life and the circumstances that make you want to give up and make you want to quit is what I draw on also. And that's definitely something that uh, I'm very thankful to have in my life and to have been a part of playing for Coach Holtz is something that was invaluable. You know, Reggie said this yesterday, often says, what do you think of Coach Holtz? Well, he still scares me to death. And I don't want you to go into details, but, again, you've had some tough times, and there was a night where you called him and said, Coach, I mean, I, I'm not sure what to do. I, I, I want to talk to you on the phone. And he told you you were in Dallas to get on a plane and go to Orlando. I read, you told me this story, and, you st and he stayed up all night talking with you. I mean, that, that's the kind of guy who says, I'm going to be there for you. Right. He is there for you forever. And he's actually a man of his word, and to be able to have – somebody that you can confide in, somebody that you can actually get counsel from, and somebody that you can actually get encouragement from. A lot of times when people encourage, they feel like, you know, you're the everlasting well and that you don't need encouragement. Well, sometimes that's the furthest thing from the truth. So when I need encouragement, there's people that I need to go to, and Coach Holtz is definitely one of them. Right, I'm supposed to be wrapping this, but one last quick question. Bring what it do on. You think don't get me in trouble, though. Don't no, get me no, in no, trouble. No, 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 it's me. Okay. I can't, I can't let you go without talk about this year's team. What do you like? What I like is, first of all, the ability to have tribulation in your life of any kind. So you have the tribulation of a quarterback who has to learn the hard way that you have to do things in the name way. Then you have the tribulation that the season has started in a certain way, and now there's guys who were being counted on to be productive and help this to be a successful season, and they're no longer there. So do you take those situations and then you look at them like, wow, what, how come this is happening to us? What, what, what can we do? Where are we going to go? Or do you say, you know what, regardless of the circumstances, regardless of who we may have been counting on that might not be here now, we have exactly what we need, exactly what it takes to be successful, to be victorious, and 
that is going to be the outcome of this season. That's what I like about this team. Rocket Ishmael, everybody. And